See him here in the courtroom today? Yes. Could you please point him out to the members of the jury? Your Honor, please let the record reflect that Mr. Hill has identified the defendant. And he drives it into right center field, hit a ton. This baby is way back. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball channel. And today, we're talking about Evan Gaddis, former Houston Astro. He was part of the 2017 and 2018 Astros teams, part of the cheating scandal. He was hearing those trash can bangs coming in while he was batting and definitely took full advantage of it. He's had some things to say, a little bit apologetic in his last few statements, but we're going to go back a few days where he actually retweeted an image which got some traction there because that image showed Mike Fires. This is a glass that was being sold by a local bar, local to Houston, and it shows Mike Fires, the guy who pretty much exposed the Astros by talking to Ken Rosenthal and getting the story out there. He was part of that 2017 team, and now he's with the A's. And since he did that, this glass was made by a local bar, and it's supposed to be funny, and it says, Snitches get stitches, a pretty famous expression. You probably heard it before, but you know, snitches get stitches, okay? Little funny little thing right there. I don't think anybody, well, probably some people do, but I don't think most people literally want Mike Fires to get stitches, including Evan Gaddis, but Evan Gaddis retweeted that image and that caused a stir. And then Evan Gaddis went on to say, no, 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 I don't have any hard feelings towards Mike Fires, it was just, I thought it was funny, so I retweeted it. Yeah, you thought it was funny, but you hit that retweet because you kind of also agree with it. Not saying that he literally wants him to get stitches, but he does agree that that is a snitch and he's not too happy with him. That's just common sense. I'm sure most of the Astros from 2017 who are having to deal with this now, who are still part of that team especially, Gaddis is retired, but you know, all those guys, those hitters who are getting all the flack for this, you know they feel like that is a snitch right there and they are pissed. That's just common sense. I would feel the same way pretty much, you know, if I did something wrong and someone went and told on me and then I got in trouble, you look at that person like, man, why you snitch me out, man? You know, I mean, it's just kind of, it's, it's a common thing. But anyway, not saying right, wrong, indifferent. I'm just saying that's what's going on. Come on. He's not happy about it. To me, it's a good thing that Fires did what he did because the Astros have been exposed. The base, Major League Baseball is cleaning this whole thing up and trying to make sure that this kind of thing won't happen again and that we don't have a situation where teams are stealing signs with electronics. It's something that I want out of baseball and I'm glad that it's being taken care of and the way and the reason it's being taken care of is a team was exposed for doing it and Mike Fires is the one that came out and did that. Now, did Mike Fires say anything while he was with the Astros? No, he didn't. He waited till now. But... At least it still happened. The game is getting cleaned up. That's what I care about. But I still understand why someone like Gaddis would be a little bit upset with fires. And I think that's why he retweeted that image. Nevertheless, hey, you want to say it was just you thought it was funny and you got no hard feelings? Say, fine, whatever. I ain't worried about it. That's fine. But now Gaddis has more to say. And this is from NBC Sports Hardball Talk. Here he is, Evan Gaddis on the 2017 Astros. We obviously cheated baseball. <laughs> And here's his quote, what we did was wrong, don't get it twisted, it was wrong for the nature of competition, not even baseball, we obviously cheated baseball, I'm not asking for sympathy or anything like that, but if our punishment is being hated by everyone forever, just like whatever, I don't know what should be done, but something had to be effing done, I do agree with that big time, I do think it's good for baseball that we're cleaning it up. I still to this day, I've thought about it a lot, shall we say, and I still don't know how I feel. I know I'll get ripped by somebody, like that's not an apology, and if I did apologize, it still wouldn't be good enough. Yeah, I know it's not gonna be good enough. I understand that's not good enough to say sorry. I get it. Um, a lot of cussing, a lot of cussing. This guy cusses a lot. But that's okay. Anyway, he did talk about fires as well. I'll get to that in a minute, but based on what he just said there, first of all, for me, I mean, I'm willing to forgive, you know, I'm not gonna hate anybody forever for, especially not for 
you know, banging a trash can to steal the sign in a baseball game. Yes, it's a big deal to me as a diehard baseball fan because they went and won that World Series, and I don't feel that now that now we don't know what would have happened otherwise, and that sucks. But you know, as a human being, you understand know everybody makes mistakes. It's not like you raped someone. It's not like you murdered someone. It's not like you robbed someone at gunpoint. You know, I mean, there are terrible, terrible things that happen every day out there. Um, these guys were using a camera to steal the catcher signs illegally and banging a trash can or whistling or doing whatever to steal the sign and it's messed up but you know no i'm not gonna hate someone forever i don't wish them you know a horrible life or anything like that so if they would come out and apologize and and i felt that they were being sincere in their apology i would say hey, it's okay man you feel bad about it okay I don't know if Evan Gaddis feels bad about it, but hey, I don't know Evan Gaddis. He doesn't know me. Who cares? I'm just a general fan, and you know, hey, do what you do. Yeah, a lot of people are going to hate him and the Astros forever, but we'll, they'll get over it. You know, for me, um, I'm pissed at what happened, and I want it to not happen again. Simple as that. As far as the individual players, whether it be Correa, whether it be Altuve, whether it be, you know, whoever, Gaddis, whoever, we move on. You know, you guys blew it. You made a mistake. If you say you're sorry, Hey, fine, we move on. As far as fires, he said, with fires, he had something to say, dude. It probably started with him saying exactly what he said. Some of these guys coming into the league, they don't effing know yet that this stuff goes on, and I respect that. And he had something to say, so he had to effing say it. And then we had to get punished, because if not, then what? It'll get even more out of control. I mean, cool, man. I mean, coming out and uh, saying it how it is, putting out somewhat of an apology. I say somewhat of an apology because, I mean, he's still, like, just talking crazy, saying, no matter what I do, no one's going to be happy, so F it, whatever, like, F, I, we blew it, we, we cheated baseball, so F it, F this, F, kind of trying to read through all the cuss words and get to the crux of what he's saying here. I think what he's saying is, um, it seems to me he's really pissed off they got caught. I feel like he does feel kind of bad about it. He does realize it was wrong and he's coming out and saying that and that's really all that I would ask. You know, you know it was wrong. Okay, he's not playing baseball anymore so it's not gonna really matter. Enjoy your retirement. Enjoy your World Series ring and trophy. That's awesome. It's really not because you guys cheated to get it but whatever, what's done is done. I just want baseball to be clean moving forward. I know that not all the evil people in baseball just happen to be on the Astros that year. There are good people on the Astros, there were bad people on the Astros, but what we do know is nobody was man enough at that time, not that I would have been, let me point that out, but nobody at that time was man enough to come out and say, hey, this is going on, I want off this team, I'm reporting this to the commissioner, this is not happening. It stops today or I report this, and if it doesn't stop, they actually report it. That's the way it should have been done, but nobody had the guts to do that, nobody came out and said anything until years after the fact, and now baseball was, you know, having a lot of problems. Now there is no baseball, so we got even a bigger problem now. But I still thought I'd cover this story because it is interesting to see what Gaddis had to say. The same guy who just retweeted snitches get stitches. So I don't know how to feel about Gaddis. I think he's a little pissed off. I think that he's trying to say what he has to say. How bad does he feel? I don't feel like he's really that sorry, but I could be wrong. You know, I don't want to judge a guy. He said he's sorry. To me, that's good enough. I'm ready to uh, say very well, good, move on from them. But uh, anyway, I'd love to hear some more, you know, sincere sounding apologies from the actual Astros and then not to turn around and try to, you know, kind of Correa had sounded sincere, but then he turned around. The next thing I know, he's talking about how, no, no, we were legit. We won that World Series and he broke it all down and how it was legit. Like, dude, you just apologized. If you apologize, that means you blew it. You did something wrong. There's no excuses for that. You leave it, at, leave it there. And he didn't do that, so that was a little disappointing. But anyway, guys, looking forward to getting some baseball back as soon as possible. This is a rough time for everybody. Um, just wanted to read this story. I thought it was fi finding it interesting with the snitches get stitches. And then he turns around and says, no, that was just, a, I just thought it was funny. I got no hard feelings. And he comes out with this apology, which is like F words and all over the place. It's hard really to read through all the F bombs, but I think I got it. So uh, guys, what do you think about Evan Gaddis? What do you think about the Astros? What do you think about baseball? You looking forward to some baseball right here? Trying to get, still working on getting MLB The Show 2020 so I can play a little of that and put some video content on that, but I just haven't been able to do it yet. Yo, got You guys have a fantastic day and please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Would really appreciate it and hit the like button. It helps out a ton. Help me to get these videos out there and grow the channel. Guys, have a great day and we'll talk to you next time. See ya! 
When the Giants come to town, it's fine.